going to I'm going to finish up this story and then we're going to get started with gratitude. Um, I was originally going to move to Florida and um, I can't, somebody in my last company took off here in Phoenix and I had to come like help them get started because they were taking off so fast. And when I got here, I was, I fell in love. I fell in love because there was no humidity. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like Florida, but no humidity. Um, and then obviously no, no ocean, <laughs> but that's okay. Because what I loved about it was Phoenix literally is four hours from Los Angeles four hours from San Diego, four hours from Mexico, four hours from Vegas, four hours from, like, it was four hours from everything. And I'm like, dude, like, this is the dream, right? If, and if I want to go see snow, I just drive two and a half hours up to freaking Flagstaff. Um, snow, boom, there it is. Um, which I have not wanted to see yet. And it's been six and a half years since I've been here in, in uh, Arizona. And I have not wanted to see snow yet. Um, but the moral to my story is, is that I promised myself I would plan my travel only in good months when it comes to going to Ohio, Wisconsin, Michigan, any place cold as S-H-I-T. And I broke that for Miss Kaylee Krupp um, when she put together a training up in New York. I broke it. I broke my rule. <laughs> but other than that, I barely had to see snow, so exciting times. Welcome, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, you guys, so not motivated to get up this morning, but I know I'm going to go into that in a minute. I'm so excited. Our co-hosts today are awesome sauce. Um, if you guys don't know who Summer Love Romero is, she is the bomb.com. Um, you're going to get to hear from her today. And Danny, of course, is a complete, total, ridiculous rock star on this planet. Um, and like literally one of my fave people. Um, and this sounds horrible, but I like don't know what I would do without someone like her simply just because like, you know how you have that person in your life that keeps you kind of organized <laughs> it kind of it keeps your crap together right <laughs> well that would be her like honestly she's the person in my life that is she keeps my crap together I just love her and you know how we talked to last night I don't know if you were on um Stacy's zoom but she talked about you if you're not good at something utilize the strengths of your team members like Danny is a lot of things I'm not. So I utilize her a heck of a lot. Just like Brittany Hyder is a lot of things I'm not. And I am utilizing her a heck of a lot too. And then last but not least, we have um, Rebecca Johnson on. If you guys don't know Rebecca, oh, I'm Rebe Rebecca, is that, you're not, is that your last name? I'm the most horrible human on the planet. Yeah. When I, I thought so. We have a lot of Johnson. Rebecca's amazing. Oh my gosh, I've gotten to spend so much time with you. Um, and every time I spend more time with you, you just get more and more amazing and incredible. And I can't wait for everybody on the Zoom that doesn't know you to hear from you this morning. It's going to be so awesome. As usual, I hope you guys get out your gratitude journal, a pen, a paper, a sticky note. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you use, prick your finger, literally with a needle and use your blood, please. Please do your gratitude. Um, please get in this habit, you guys. Like I cannot express to you how the way you start out your mornings is, you know, once again, I'm blown away that we get on here. Um, it is Monday morning. We're already at 124 people. And I'll tell you what, guys, like impressive because you guys rock and know that if you're starting at least 124 people right now are starting off their morning with gratitude um, because you're on here and that's what we're training you to do. If you feel like really feisty and want to share some of the things, at least five things that you were grateful for over the last 24 um, this week into 48 hours since we weren't together. I always say 48 hours. I'd love to know what you're grateful for because we were together every other day. Um, I would love to know what those things are. Dig in deep, um, because if you are writing the same five things down every day, 
uh, that's a little redundant. And I hope that your life is changing enough to where you're finding different things to be grateful for. Um, and then journaling, I think, is the way that everybody should start off their morning, journaling and then doing their gratitude. And just to give you guys a rundown, if you're joining us for the first time, if you're just getting hip to the morning crew, um, where have you been? Your life is not complete without us. Um, you are here now, though. So, I mean, it's the best thing ever. Um, you are not complete without us. So I'm glad you are here now. I want to show you a couple things that um, I am pushing to people this new year when it comes to gratitude. And as I'm talking, I hope you guys are doing your, um, your morning gratitude and all of that. Leading with gratitude, this book, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to hold it up right here. People are always messaging me. They're always saying, Lisa, what are you reading? Do you have any rec book recommendations? And when I find a good book, I like to share. And it just so happens this leading with gratitude is thebomb.com. Um, it's leading with gratitude, eight leadership practices for extraordinary business results. It's by Adrian Gostick and Chester Elton. Oh my gosh. There you go. Screenshot it. You have it. What a great, another great way, especially in your leadership to start off the new year with gratitude. So maybe it's something you could ask for for a Christmas present, stocking stuffer. Um, and then this little book right here, literally, I think I got it for like three bucks. Not even kidding. I just love this thing right here. More gratitude. Um, it's finding gratitude, simple ideas that can change your life. And what I love about this little book is every day. I'll give you an example. This I just turned it to a page. Surround yourself with others who lift you up. Every day we'll have something that says something right here. And then a little thing to read right here. And it says, I am grateful for fun. Having fun helps me feel young again. It ignites my inner child. And it lifts my spirits. I'm grateful for the fun moments in life. And it helps me to be focused on those serious things. And in, it helps me to not be so focused on those serious things and interested. Um, wait, and instead, sorry, you guys, it's early. And instead, be in the moment. Enjoy. It brings people together, uniting them in enjoying their time together. It fills my cup and helps me release stress and relax. Fun makes me be more productive and function better. I love every page of this book, but you wanna know what I love the most is it's elaborating on your things that you're grateful for. So this person said, I'm grateful for fun, right? I'm grateful for fun today. Why? Elaborate on that. It's a cute little book, um, every page. I'm grateful for challenges. I'm grateful for acceptance. And what I love about this little grateful book is sometimes it helps me, because do you ever, I don't know about you guys, but do you ever struggle to find things that you're grateful for? One thing I like about this book is it makes me think about things that, yeah, I am, I am, I'm, I'm grateful for inspiration. Um, the science behind kindness and giving. Um, I'm grateful for my faith. I'm grateful for kindness. It just makes you think of different things that you're grateful for um, that maybe you honestly wouldn't think about. And then last but not least, um, the five minute journal is something I want to show you guys what I'm sending out this year. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please. I am so excited. So stinking excited. Right here, baby. In this, so every morning and every evening you do something, but it basically says morning meditation, today's focus. So what's your focus today? An affirmation for today. What I'm grateful for, your five things. What I'm excited about today and how I'll make space for gratitude today. And then the evening reflection side says, good things that happened today, things I did to make a positive difference today, how I felt today, notes, a positive thought to carry me to sleep. I just love this. It's my new five-minute journal.
that I'm using this year. Same concept, you guys. These books, these kind of books all, are all over Amazon. Go find something that sticks out to you. Um, and it's kind of like this one that Jess put out, right? I think it even might be the same people that made it. This one's called self-care. This one focuses more on still got gratitude in your, your intention for the day. It also has um, things like, you know, how much water did you drink? Did you move your body? Maybe this is going to be more of the thing you do every morning. See, it doesn't have to be the same for everyone. I think we get so stuck on that exact same thing. Maybe this is more your jam. See, for me, like, I'm not a huge workout person. I'm not that healthy, although I'm trying to be more healthy. But this one just stuck with me. Like, this is more of my jam. Um, and I like it a little bit better than the five-minute journal because it digs in a little bit deeper, I think. So, you know, five-minute journal, still jam, still the jam, bomb.com. But adding one of these, I think you just dig a little bit deeper. Um, so with that said, we are going to go into Lavelle News, team news, um, just stuff happening around the globe. One thing I wanted to mention before we go into, um, and I thought this morning we could talk about what we're going to do. I didn't, I'm dropping this bomb on my co-host because I didn't tell them about this part yet, but it's okay. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty snazzy women. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll have something to say. Um, but I want to talk about how we're going to use Lavelle, our Lavelle products in the holidays um, with our friends and family that we don't see a lot. Like, what's the plan? Um, kind of like bringing your treat meal and putting it in a little bowl in the middle of the table at the, at, at, uh, the Christmas dinner. And people going, what's that? What's in that bowl? And I'm like, oh, you need some of this right after this meal. Um, you want to like absorb like up to, you know, 60% of the carbs and fat in this food. Let's do it. Um, just little tricks like that, but also some stocking stuffer ideas. And um, one of the things I wanted to point out in case if you're on our team and you live under a rock, it seems as though there's a lot of people that do live under a rock um, these days. I get it's December, but it's so important you stay consistent. I am doing a six day giveaway in the team page. Um, the next six days, I already started Friday was the first giveaway. I did $50 Amazon card every day. I'm going up a little bit more. Um, and if you take part in all those, you get more entries. So, which is cool. Um, but dude, I was really shocked in a page of 4,000 people when only, and all you had to do was get two free customer accounts. That's it over like a weekend. And if you did that, then you went into, um, the drawing for a $50 Amazon card and, there was 60 people. <laughs> I, I guess people just don't like free money. Um, but with that said, you know, it's the weekend, whatever. Um, yes, I'm trying to make everybody feel guilty, but it, I'm going to be giving away something else tonight. And hopefully we get more participation now that it's Monday and more people hopefully are plugged in. So I just wanted to mention that. So I wanted to kind of go into your plan for Christmas. Um, and whoever wants to jump in, please jump in. Um, I don't know if, uh, Rebecca or um, uh, Danny or, or why am I, I like, it's like, I cannot think today. You guys, I woke up 10 minutes before the Zoom. Um, <laughs> 10 minutes. This is why you get this every morning. And um, I'm losing my dang mind. But anybody that wants to jump in, you can jump in. Okay, I'll jump right in. Yay. Um, honestly, um, I usually send Christmas cards during this time, um, and I handwrite because I feel like that just goes so much longer than just sending out a letter. Um, and I just bought regular Christmas cards, you guys. I'm thinking about throwing um, either our recharge in there. I don't want to put just the DFT because I feel like, honestly, if I just put the DFT in there, two things our three steps are not what this revolves around because you guys our three steps are the quarterback of this entire company. You don't want to just throw in a DFT and then them be like, oh, okay. Um, but I'm thinking about what I'm going to be putting is and sending these out to not only my customers, um, but people that have never ordered, um, because it's so important to send these out during this holiday season because everybody's in a rut right now. Like, 
can you imagine um, you being that stay-at-home mom right now that is just at her wit's end thinking about Christmas and then you get a, a fancy Christmas card that's handwritten and your your day is better. Like, can you imagine what you're doing for that person to have that come into their mail and just be excited about something for the holidays? Um, some of those people are in that position today. So I feel personally, if you're not doing Christmas cards this season, go buy some. Like they are literally a dollar, you guys. And I promise you it's going to go such a long way for so many people this year because they're in that rut. They're like, some people are so just, not even there for this holiday season so this is going to go a long way um that's personally what i'm doing um other no, than that i'm trying to think of different couple ideas that i could do you know what you guys i don't know if you saw um there's a thing floating around where people are asking you to please give you their address i don't know if you guys saw this so if you are super one of those super unorganized people like me it, there's a link and I can post it in the dream team page, but basically it's a, it's a free address book where you can tell people click here, put your address in there. And it's also a cards. You can send out cards to people through it. You don't have to go buy the card. You don't have to go to the store and physically put a stamp on and go to the mail. If you're bad at that, you literally can log in, click on someone's address, go pick up card. And this service will send it for you like it doesn't get any better and i've been using something like this except i didn't have the address thing it's called sendoutcards.com i've been using sendoutcards.com forever i'm now switching to this this other service it's absolutely amazing you guys like listen i, I do i will say around christmas time even though i have a service like that and have used one I still do exactly what you do, Rebecca, though, is send it out personally so I can stick something in there. The thing with send out cards or with this service is that it just sends the card, right? It's not going to send you a DFT. It's not going to send you a, um, or you can go that route, but still put something in the mail for them. This is the time of year where any product you have laying around that you haven't used, get it out. Like, let somebody try it, sample it. And remember, you guys, it's a tax write-off. It's a tax write-off. Um, Danny Star, not Star. <laughs> my hand is actually raised because I really have something on my heart, but I don't yeah, want to. That's why it. I just said your name because your your name is in my thingy, and I'm like, <laughs> literally, if you all have not been able to tell this so far, you might think that I'm a morning person. I'm actually totally a night owl. I meant Summer Love, Summer Love, or Danny. Do you have anything you wanted to add? But Sarah, I'll let you pop in in a minute. Summer Love or Danny? Because <laughs> 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 I'm calling her a different name today. Summer Love, today you are in our star. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm doing is um, I just made a graphic with a stocking and I'm just doing $5 in credits for a lot of my customers because I have a ton of credits. So I'm just popping in their inbox and saying, open your stocking. I sent you something and there's like a little, um, a little pop up kind of like a graphic that I made and it's, they're getting $5 in credits loaded to their account now. Um, I was smart about it. I didn't load it yet until they're like, oh my God, thank you so much. And so they're going in there to order and then I'm going to send it in there. If they go in there and they're like, girl, I didn't see it in there. I'm like, are you sure? Refresh your screen. And then I'm going in there and adding it in there because I'm not going to be just, you know, randomly throwing out credits. Like I'm at a strip club and it's like my customers, they're going to have to use it. And um, even if they get like a referral, I'm going to say, Hey, okay, I'm going to send your referral a, a stocking too. Um, so st little things like that, because I'm not a written card type of person, even though I'm old and maybe I should be writing cards to people. I just, I'm not that that's not the vibe. I, I love people that do it. And I actually love getting cards. Um, I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I'm just an email. Yeah, but I love uh, that you know what your strong suit isn't and you don't just give up on yourself. You figure out what your strong suit is. Summer Love, can I just say one thing? Dude, you just saved my life. Oh my God, go refresh your screen. 
know any of you 150 that are on here this morning, 180, you're going to know if I say that, you're always going to wonder, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> I was on that morning. Did Lisa just tell me that because she forgot or was it really there? <laughs> I love it though. That is going to save my life. Refresh your screen. That's This is exactly why I love you. Like you are seriously my soul sister. You have no idea in any shape or form how much alike we just are. Like we're twinsies. We're, we're so alike. Um, that's why I do something like send out cards because I know me. I'm gonna, you know how many thank you note boxes I bought around here and, and cards, they're just lay around. I've even attempted to send them, but they will sit there for like three weeks with no stamp because I'm too lazy to go get stamps. <laughs> this is just me. This is why I need like a assistant, a full-time assistant. But I honestly, I don't have enough for an assistant. That's my problem. That's why I don't have one because I like to do my own business stuff and I don't have enough going on in my own personal life for an assistant. So um, there you have it, y'all. Hey, Danny. Yeah. Um, Jump I'm, in, girl. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing as Rebecca. I have um, like this year, um, my thing is either like gnomes or like the red truck with the tree in the back. So. I found these really cute red truck cards from Home Goods actually, and um, I'm doing the same thing as Rebecca. I'm putting in a sample. I'm handwriting these cards um, and giving them to my sending them to my customers um, and even my free customers like Rebecca is as well. Um, just a little thank you for you know um, supporting uh, me and my business this year and. Um, you know, hope to, um, you know, work with them, you know, in the new year and help them achieve their goals, think something like that. Um, just thanking them because we get, we don't get mail like that anymore. Everything is so, um, it's not personable anymore. And it's just, so now that's what I'm doing. And I know that um, I've started doing that because I'm getting cards and I'm like, I love getting cards with my name on it. And like, who doesn't love like even the, when Amazon comes, right? You're like, oh my gosh, it's like Christmas every day. So, um, but yeah, just a little, like a blast, a boost, especially this time of year, activate because everybody needs energy right now. Something that's small that will fit in. Um, and if they are a current customer of mine and I check to see what they are ordering, I will put in like maybe, um, you know, an upgraded DFT for them to try if they're just on premium or if they're using ultra I'll put in like a black label <clears throat> just something for them to try to um you know add to their auto ships every month so that, that's what I'm doing and I love the idea that you were talking about Lisa with the treat meal because that is such a great product to have out especially on the dinner table you know we went out to dinner a couple nights ago and I had that out on the table like I did I, I see twins um stories and she's always bringing that to dinner with her or lunch and I'm like oh, I need to try that so I did that and that, you know, I did a, a story about it and everything. So having that out there, having, you know, your family, your friends and family seeing that and it's a conversation starter and just having them see you take it right after you eat and let them know like what it does. Like who doesn't want like a carb blocker, right? So um, especially this time of year. So I think those are great, um, great ideas. Yeah, I'm totally doing I mean, you guys have got to take advantage of those situations. Like you're not thinking, are you wearing your DFT where your family's seeing it? Oh, you're still doing that thing? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you you just have to be thoughtful. But one of the things I, I'm thinking about is like promoting things that are stocking stuffers right now too, because people are looking and I love like the charcoal bars because there's four, right? People I know for me, when I've got four kids, I'm always looking for packs of four of things so I can go one, two, three, four. Like when I was at yesterday, I was like getting things at the store, like four toothbrushes came in a pack for, and I put those kind of things in my kids' stockings. So like, I like to think of stuff like this or the protein bars or the, um, the chips, the, whatchamacallit, the yummy chips, the popcorn chips. Oh my God. So good. Um, and my kids love those. Uh, so stuff like that, I like to think about that people like for that. But also, I kind of gathered all the gifts that were like 40 bucks and under, like our hand and foot cream. My kids, I don't know about you guys, but they love charcoal masks. 
I'm talking, if you've got teenage girls, they love freaking charcoal masks. They love foot creams and all of that stuff, scrubs. So all of that is what I have been trying to kind of put in my stories and promote on Facebook because I feel like this is the stuff that people are looking for. Um, so I've really been kind of like, what can I post about today? And then I shared this with everybody before, but I'll just share it one more time. It's getting kind of late. So you'd have to throw something together soon. Um, I put on my Facebook, who once involved in the five days or in, I'm putting together a vendor event online. COVID has screwed my business. Who else has a business that wants to be included in my vendor event and share their product or service? I had 60 some comments and these were not just people in network marketing. I have one girl that like she does crafts, another girl that like sells little, like she makes masks, the masks. Um, like I had people, some, some girl that does Christmas wreaths, like whatever. So you would have to like put it together. But I literally just created the event um, yesterday and it's happening Wednesday, Lit literally Wednesday. I have um, 30 people that I picked. I made sure that nobody does the same things in the same company. And um, we are going live every half hour in the event. Somebody picked a time slot and they're going to share their product or service and do like a little giveaway if they want. Um, it's their time. They can do what they want with it. Um, but it's a great way for me. Number one, one of my, some of my biggest promoters have come from me going to vendor events and the people at those vendor events do what I do, right? Even though I was with a different company, they get it. They get that entrepreneur mindset. Some of my best promoters were other vendors. So one of the reasons I did it just being real is that I want to make friends with other people in network marketing because when if they're following me and looking at me, they might go, man, I really want to add that in. You know, I'm already an entrepreneur. Um, I have one girl that did actually. Um, she had a friend tag her in my post. She sells these dips. It's food. And she was like, dude, I'm already doing these. I could do both. And she was like, I've been looking at your posts and man, I, what is this? Tell me more. Never would have happened if I wouldn't have done it. So um, huge, 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 huge. I just want to throw that out there. You can throw something together so quickly. Um, it doesn't really take much effort on your part. Although I will say, because it's an event, um, disclaimer, only the event coordinator can do live videos in the event. So I'm gonna have to share every 30 minutes when they go live on their timeline, I'm gonna be sharing it in the event, but hey, it's one day. Um, you don't have to do as many people as me. You could do it with five people, with 10 people, something that you can handle so that you can share their video in the event. And um, yeah, that's it. So um, with that said, that's my ideas. Anybody else have anything that's on their heart Lavelle wise that they wanted to share before we move on to today's topic? Sorry, I forgot about you. I know you want to It's okay. Something. It's all right. It's kind of, okay. So first um, I'm doing a 12 days of Christmas self-care edition. I, I know that the, it's very, very late to do that, but the 12th day will be actually Christmas. If you start today, very easy to throw together. Um, I'm just finding things that I've collected throughout the year uh, to, to also give away. But every night I go live in there, I give them one self-care tip and then I, I do a drawing, like a little giveaway. And it, I do include some Thrive products that I have on hand, like a mini or a, um, a three-day skincare sample. Um, and then I support other small businesses, Sensi, whatever it be. Um, also with the cards, I have an index card box and I have all of my free accounts, uh, ordering accounts, past ordering accounts um, in that box. And I reached out to every single person. I'm going to put my verbiage in the chat. And I just said, hey, darling, I hope you and your family are doing well. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I'm sure you think I'm rude. My number one goal for 2021 is to be more organized so this kind of thing doesn't happen. I'm writing Christmas cards out a tad late this year, and I can't seem to find your shipping information anywhere. Could you send it over? every single person has given me their shipping address and I'm sending them a card. This is all I can afford this year. I, I got the, the BOGO when the pink labels were on BOGO. So I'm, I'm utilizing what I have. These cards were super duper cheap. They're, they're uh, religious cards because I'm all about that. And I just put in here, 
um, you know, hey, I, I hope these holidays find you and your family well. I included a pink label for you to wear on Christmas Day that will help you with energy and the mood elevation that's needed this year. It's my personal favorite and I hope you enjoy. Take care. And I sign it from me and my family. I wanted to make it more personable. Um, and then also a, a spinoff of Summer Love's idea with the, the graphic stocking. I don't know if anybody knows this, um, but in Messenger now, we have an option. It's called Effects. You can uh, wrap your text up to where when the person gets it, they have to click it and it like opens the present. And it can that can be their coupon. That's so cute. I freaking love that. Um, I love it. Like... I, when you said I have a box with everybody's dude, I've never had a box in my life. A box of nothing. A box <laughs> this of is nothing. new. <laughs> you never love her like, what's a box? <laughs> <laughs> I am so like you guys, but I, I had to. I had to because I was going nuts. I need to know my people. No, you're right. And you guys, <laughs> what's crazy is that I've come a long way. 10 years ago, when I say I'm the most disorganized person on the planet, I mean that. But I found ways that work for me to do things. Um, and I still am not perfect. I still need to utilize other people for things. But I joke around, you know, a lot. But who I was compared to who I am, you've got to be willing to figure out ways to change that about yourself. Because let me tell you what, guys, if you don't, like I had to figure out a method to my madness and get some kind of an organization going on or else there's no way I would be here today. Um, it, again, it, if somebody as together as maybe, you know, Jacqueline Babber or Danny or, um, you know, anybody that's got their crap together, um, they would probably look at me, Stacy Weisenberger, they would come in my house and go, how do you live like this? Like, look at your desk, Lisa. How do you find anything? But I now know my own method that works for me. I, to me, I've grown so much. Then they'd be like, what the hell is going on with you? Oh, um, so it's, it's funny. Okay. You guys get great ideas. Thank um, everybody for sharing a little bit about what they're planning to do. And I think you guys got the gist of it though. Every, every one of us talked about it's December. It's your time to shine. It's your time to get something to your customers, whether you're doing it virtually, um, like, uh, like summer love is whether you're doing it um, as sending out a card you don't have to have a lot of money to go to the dollar store literally you guys and buy an 18 pack of cards for a buck like this is something that you is a tax write-off remember every single thing you do that is for your business is a tax write-off um, and you've got to invest a little bit sometimes to make your customers want to continue to order from you in the new year. It's those little things that make the biggest difference. you got some stocking stuffer ideas and don't forget to utilize your products when you're around friends and family um, around that Christmas Eve night when you're all are having hors d'oeuvres, if you do it like I do, um, or maybe Christmas day when you're having Christmas dinner, you know, you're seeing people at Christmas time that you don't normally see. Um, I know for me, I have aunt and uncles that I only see one time a year one time and that's at Christmas um, and I want them to go what is that what tell me more what's that bowl in the middle of the table with those little pills and um, those are conversation starters we're going to move into our topic for today and I'm actually going to let the other ladies start um, whoever wants to start we are going to talk about mindset and manifestation today and I've got to tell you guys one thing I say it every zoom Mindset is 99% of the success in your business. Once you once you believe, once you have the right mindset, man, oh man, can you do amazing things because the rest is just action. Once you believe it's going to happen, once you know it's going to happen, once your mindset is shifted, the rest is just action. The rest is just now, how do I do it? To, what do I need to do to get there? Because you already decided, right? Your mind is made up. Um, I'm going to let... I know you guys actually picked this topic today, um, kind of collectively. So whoever wants to go first. All right, I'll go. Go girl, go. <laughs> um, I think that, okay, so I'm just gonna go um, talk a little bit about 
what I've been struggling with personally lately and how I've kind of gotten out of it. So, um, it's not, um, a secret that I have, I'm severely, severely red legged and, um, and yes, we, you know, we're always told and that, um, the 60% of your volume that you don't have to worry about. Um, but I think that it can take a toll on, you know, and just this business in general and the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows can really take a toll. And this, especially this year on your, on your frame of mind, your, your confidence, your, um, you know, your, your, your feeling of self-worth you were, um, you know, just everything. And then like you get in your head and you start, you know, have this self doubt and you start talking negative, negatively, you know, to yourself. And I struggle with that daily, daily. Um, and, and I have, you know, most of my life I have, I'm very critical of myself. I'm very, I have high standards of myself. And if I don't reach those or, you know, think that I'm, I'm where I should be, I just start getting into my head and, um, and just start tearing myself apart. Um, and cause I really do self suffer from, um, lack of confidence. Um, and I really try to, um, not let a lot of people see that. Um, so when I, when I know that I'm struggling really bad with that, I, I realize I'm not, yes, I, I plug into everything I can. I'm on almost everything that there is out there. Um, you know, and I, I utilize what, um, is being said and, um, I'm with my team and I'm lifting everybody else up. But I think sometimes that, you know, you have to figure out what will lift you up, what, what will get you out of that funk, what will help change, you know, what you were saying and thinking and, you know, doing to yourself. And, um, you know, I'm, a big book reader. Like, um, I've had this book forever and um, honestly, I've never read it. I just started reading it. Um, so I think personal development's huge, but for me, I need to go up and out. I need to talk to people. I need, and I think right now with us being, you know, this pandemic, we're not able to see people and touch and feel and be in their presence. Um, like that's huge for me. I'm very blue. I need to be around people. I need to travel. And when I'm not doing that, I'm, and I'm like in my house and it, but which is kind of where because I'm also a homebody, but you know, I also want to be out with people. So I, and I need to connect. So in November, I was in a really, really hard, dark place. And I reached out and up. I reached out to Lisa and Chaz and I kind of just talked to them about what was going on and, um, you know, how I was feeling and, you know, and in an instant, like in that conversation, everything changed. Um, and I just wish I had done it sooner. So, you know, I feel like, you know, we're afraid sometimes to reach up and reach out and because we don't want people to think or our leaders to think that like we are um, whining or we always always have issues or whatever. But I think that you have to decide, you know, is this, um, am I, who, who said this the other day? Am I like, are you venting or do you just need to, I think Stacy said that last night, didn't she? Are you venting or you just need to, um, you know, or are you looking for a solution? And I kind of was just not only venting, but I'm looking for, an edification and someone to just kind of be like, okay, what you're doing is right and your feelings are valid. And everybody, you know, even though you hear that all the time, but I think sometimes you need to hear it from other people that have different perspectives. And, um, you know, I think that you need to figure out whether that's a personal development, whether that's, you know, a book, a YouTube, you need to reach out to someone who you feel that you know, can really get you out of the, what, how you're feeling out of that funk and figure out who that is. Is it, is it just someone to talk to, or is it someone to talk to with a purpose? Like, I know 
when I need Jesus, I go to Chaz. You know, I'm like, she, when she gives me Jesus, I'm like, I need Jesus. I got to go to Chaz. When, you know, I know I need to hear someone to get on my ass, I go to Jamie. Like, she's red. She's no BS. She will tell you tell it like it is. And when I need, like, a little bit of in between, I go to Lisa. When I want someone to just kind of, you know, ex, you know, um, talk to me and kind of encourage me and lift me up and, um, you know, just talk. I go to Lisa and, you know, so you have to figure out what you need and who to go to. So, and I think that's just huge because it really got me out of my, out of my funk. Like I said, just like within that conversation. And I really had to like look deep into, you know, what I was doing, what I was saying to myself and, you know, how to change that up. So. Dude. I was just going to say too, when because of this topic, I planned on saying this morning to you, particularly it's crazy. The difference in you after that conversation, (laughs) it's just nuts. It's so right though. Like, you know, one of the things that I have happen a lot is people will come to me like you did, but the problem is, is they say things like I've done that, tried that. Like they come into the conversation and it just, the, everything I say, it's like, I want to slap them and go, okay, if this is what you're going to do, if this is the mindset you're going to continue with, this is pointless for us to go on. And you didn't do that. You listened, you were open, you were willing to point out some areas that you felt like you needed to work on versus going, I've already done that. Yep, I do that. Like, it wasn't that kind of conversation. You've got to be able to come to, into it like that. But one of the things you had said is, man, I just feel like I can't, you know, I'm a customer signer, but I just can't sign a promoter. And then within a week, you signed a promoter um, of that conversation, which is so exciting. Um, and, and it really proves to me once again, that it's all about mindset, your mindset shifted. And in an instant, you were able to sign someone, you could even see it in your post, everything. It was crazy. So I just commend you so much, Danny, on you know, not doing what a lot of people do, which is giving up and seeking out the help that you needed. It's amazing. Um, Hugely. Like I can't enough say it. Thank you. You're awesome. Um, Star or star. Why do I keep doing this? Because Summer Love and Star, you both have names that every, I wish every, why couldn't my mom name me something cool like Summer Love or Star? Instead, I got Lisa. In 1970. Or that was like the popular name. Okay, y'all. I'd have like 50 friends that are named Lisa my age because they couldn't name me something cool like Star or or Summer Love. Summer Love or Rebecca, do you have anything you want to add? You better. I got it. So I wanted to kind of piggyback off of what Danny was saying. Um, you guys, one of the things that I personally am recognized for is manifesting. Um, It's so huge when it comes to this business and that all comes in with Um, (laughs) self-confidence. Believe it or not, most of the people look at me and they're like, there's no way. Um, I started this with zero self-confidence. One of the things that I personally did every single day was I wrote all over my mirrors. I put post-it notes everywhere and I wrote those I am statements so that I could look at them every single morning when I woke up. Um, Some of the things that I personally did with those I am statements is I made them very bold like (laughs) I am a badass leader I am a millionaire and some of the things that I thought about when I wrote out those I am statements is what does that mean to me so personally one of the things that I thought about when I wrote I am a millionaire in Lavelle is what am I going to do when I become a Lavelle millionaire? And some of the things that you want to write down or reflect on is how are you going to impact people when you make that goal? Um, One of the things that I personally feel is so, so important is this, is manifesting. Do you have a dream board? Are you looking at your goals every single day? Um, If you don't have a dream board, you need to have one Um, because where are you going if you're not looking at your dreams every single day? Um, One of the things that I personally love to do and I found this and I have been personally doing it is, (laughs) I'm gonna be honest, I 
socket budgeting. So one of the things that I personally have done is I grab a piece of paper and I act like it's imaginary bank account. And this has helped me with budgeting and manifesting and understanding uh, what this money could do for my family and what this money could do for so many others. So this is a perfect time for you guys to do this and to reflect on what you're going to be using this to impact other people. Uh, but what I do is I grab a piece of paper. I make, make it like it's my imaginary bank account. You can start with $100. You can start with $500, you can start with $1,000, but what you need to do is you write on day one, I deposited this amount of money, but what did you turn around and do with it? Um, so that you're constantly in the mindset that you are making a difference and you're earning that, that cash to make a difference not only in your life, but in so many others. Um, I personally feel that this has been huge for me as far as budgeting goes. Um, but one of the other things that I wanted to share super quick is I also have a six list that I go by every single week for my mindset because I personally know that my self-confidence is something that I personally struggle with every single week. Um, but what it has on it, you guys, and you could do one of these a day. You could do every single one of them a day. Um, but my sixth list of a mindset is gratitude, 100%. Being grateful for what you already have surfaces positive feelings that increase your vibration and open up to receive more. The next thing on my list is meditate. Meditating, which you could do this in any different way, you guys. Meditating is a great way to put to your self. Meditation also eliminates worries, anxieties, and other negative feelings. Um, Another thing on this list is connect with nature. How many of you guys go outside and just take it all in? Like we're allowed, some of us are allowed to stay at home right now. And are you taking that time to sit outside and be like, man, I'm thankful that I can sit outside right now for five minutes instead of having to work. So you'll connect with nature, go outside and connect with nature. It's a great way to ground yourself and feel connected to the universe. Care, taking care of yourself is such a way to raise your vibration. Put on face masks, do your thrive skin, like Lisa was talking about. Those are great stocking stuffers. Take a, take a moment and put that on your on your skin and be like, I'm self caring today. Um, do what makes you feel good and happy when it comes to self care. Visualizing, which is manifesting, my biggest thing. Close your eyes and see what you want to manifest. Visualize your dream, life, or goal. Imagine every aspect of your desire and see yourself with it. One thing I'm going to say about this is if you guys have not reached 12K yet, you've not gone out and sat in that car that you personally want to have in your driveway, why not? Why have you not given yourself the praise, the worthiness of to be able to sit your butt in that car and know that you are worthy of it and that you can drive off in it any day of day? So, and the last thing I have on this list, which we should be doing every single day, is drink water. Drink water. Water helps clear your toxins and impurities that could be weighing down your vibration. Water is your vibration from the inside out. I love it. That's I love my it. sixth list of mindset. I love it. And you know what? When somebody messages me that they're stuck and they're doing all of the right things, then it's usually their mindset. It's their mindset that they have to work on. It truly is. So if you're one of those people on here that you do all the right things, trust me, mindset. Um, Summer Love, one of my favorite things about you is that you always have such good words of wisdom. What do you got on this topic? Um, part of that would probably be because I'm old. Um, and I've You're old like me. All, We're old, I've dude. I've <laughs> been through a lot of stuff. That's where the wisdom comes from. And I am just, I just keep bouncing back because what other choice do we have? Um, and I love everything that Danny and Rebecca said. And like Danny, I was stuck. I've been stuck since August. And I know that's a thing where people don't like to say and you don't like to say you're stuck, but I'm a realist and I was stuck. Whether it's a bad word or whether it's a good word, it's my word. And that's where I was at since August. There was a lot of things going behind, going on behind the scenes that a lot of people didn't know about. Um, 
and a lot of manipulation and a lot of things that were going on um, that were causing me to just not really want to do this business. Um, and I had to just, you know, sit back for a second because I didn't know what it was. And as soon as, you know, everything, you know, came out, I, I knew exactly what it was. Like, I'm a person, I'm an empath. I have a strong intuition and I will just put the brakes on when I feel that something isn't right. And that's what had happened. Um, and I'm going to be super, super transparent because of that, um, Last Tuesday, when I went to go open up my check, my check was 51 cents, 51 cents, but I had did the work. Okay. I kept doing the work these past three weeks. I put my head down and I was just doing the work to pull myself out of the pit that I was in because no one was going to come with a life raft. No one was going to come and save me. So I need you guys to stop expecting other people to save you. Stop thinking, where's my leader? Where's my upline? This one's not doing this. This one's not doing that. Uh, you know, I want to do this and I, I want to have more power hours and I want to do work with me. And I want to do that. You always need to feel led. I have a trick for you. Grab, grab a pencil, touch the tip of the pencil. There you go. You got led go run something. Stop waiting for someone else to do things for you. Stop waiting for that. Because if you want to create change, then that's what you have to do. Be the leader that you're not getting. Point, period, blank. Go do it yourself. Go lead because there's someone else in your same situation that is looking to be led and you're just sitting there as well. Just like, oh, okay, I guess we'll just sit over here and uh, collect our 51 cents check. Hell no. Hell no, I'm worth so much more than that. I show up so much more than that, than, than 51 cents. I had a ton of returns. Why? Because I wasn't checking on my customers. Why? Because I was sitting in this pit waiting for a life raft that no, no one freaking cared. Not that no one cared. No one knew what I was going through because I couldn't pinpoint what it was. So I'm a, I'm a firm believer in manifestation, just like Rebecca and just like Danny and I sat and I said, you know what? That's going to be, that's going to be $510 next week. Then it's going to be 5,100 next week. And guess what? It's going to be 51,000. I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm a brand promoter. I'm a 4k. My name is Summer Love Romero. I'm a 12k. Hell no. My name is Summer Love Romero and I'm on the path to 200k. That's my new saying. And I stopped saying I'm doing IPAs and I started saying I'm doing manifesting activities every single day every single day income producing activities if you want to use that go ahead and use that but to me it wasn't moving me it wasn't moving me it felt like a job say i'm doing my daily method of operations boring it felt like a job it wasn't getting me out of bed when i said oh crap i gotta get up and i gotta go do my manifesting activities that's what was getting me out of bed because I knew that what I was dreaming about, what I was manifesting was going to come true. If I say I'm doing some operations, that's not going to get me out of bed. That's not going to move me. And I, I'm the type of person where I need to be moved and no one can move me but me. So yesterday I was like sitting in the car and I had it. It's, it's winter here in Illinois and we don't get much sun and I know my mood. I know what happens to me. So yesterday was sun was out and I said, you know what? I'm going to get out of this house. I went for a drive. I was in the car and something hit me, uh, something that I've been struggling with in my personal life. And that issue had just came into my mind and I knew that it was just a test. It was just a test to see if I was going to draw back and sit in that or if I was going to fight. So I sat in the car and I'm just driving and I'm just thanking the universe, thanking God for everything that was going to come to me. I'm like, thank you, God, for that 510 bucks. Thank you, God, for that increase in my paycheck. Thank you, God, for that $5,100. Thank you, God, for that increase in my savings. Like just thanking, thanking the universe for everything that was already on the way to me because I already know that it's on the way to me and as soon as I was doing that and I was asking help for this certain situation that I was in right so I'm like I need you to help me in this certain situation and I want you guys to know that the universe has your back God has your back like whatever you believe in Allah the Quran I don't care 
there's something out there, a bigger power than us that has your back. All you have to do is to tap into it and ask for what you want. So I was driving and I said, you know, I need help with a certain situation. And it's, it's not only like it, finances would help in this situation. So I said, you know, I need that increase to come to come through and I need you. I know that you have my highest good um, as a priority. So I need your help. And I'm not even kidding you guys. Not even one hour later, I get this text regarding exactly what I was asking God to help me with. It was a solution to exactly what I was asking for. And then not only that, as, as I'm, my tears are streaming down my face because I'm like, thank you for having my back. Just thank you. I'm driving and then I see the freaking car that I just had put on my dream board the day yesterday drive right past me. So I'm just like bawling even more because I'm like, man, when you are so aligned with who you are supposed to be, when you are so aligned with where the path that you're supposed to be on, nothing can touch you. And that starts every single day with your mindset. You can say, I don't do personal development. I don't like it. I don't want to listen to you. Then throw on some music, throw on some music and clean your house. Sister, clean your house. Okay. If your house is a mess, if your car is a mess. Guess what else is a mess here and here. Your head and your heart is a mess. Clean your house, organize your, your workspace, organize your fridge. Just start just moving that bad energy just out of your life. Because you guys have to know that if you were obviously all in this business to help people, we're obviously all in this business to collect a paycheck, right? That's all energy. That's all energy. Money is energy and it's an exchange of energy. Make sure that you're cleaning all that old energy, all that stuff that doesn't belong no longer in your life. You are clearing it out because you're making room for everything that's good, everything that's coming your way. Because bad energy and good energy cannot share the same space. They just cannot. So you have to be like that rock in that sea of chaos that cannot be moved, that cannot be shaken by anything else that's going around because guess what? Everything that is going to happen to you is going to happen for you. So if you are moved and shaken by something that is like rocking your world, guess what? That's a setback. And that's what just happened to me. And I was like, you know what? No more. No more. I'm not going to focus on what, you know, whoever the hell else is, what they're doing. That's not adding to my paycheck. I'm not giving that my energy. Like, no more. And once I started to just put my foot down, put my head down and just work. And my power spot is building relationships. Like I, like Danny was saying that, you know, it's, you know, it's COVID and we don't have that much contact with people. Like I love building relationships with women. I love empowering women. Like that is my power spot. I love to say, girl, you are beautiful. You are worth so much more. Like I love that. And I had gotten away from that because I was so stuck in where I was stuck in. So when I say that this is like a season and people love to say that this is a slow season, you can call it whatever you want to call it. It's just a season. Now in this season is where I'm building relationships. Period. I may not have that volume coming in, but this is a season where I'm building relationships and I'm talking to people because I know that in January, February, March, April, I know that it's already coming to me. So I'm not going to worry about the lack of, I'm not, there's not a lack. There's like so much abundance out there for all of us, but all you have to do is tap into it. And it starts every single day with your mind. I had somebody in my inbox the other day and I was sharing with her how um, I was working, what was working for me. And she's like, oh, I tried that before. It's not going to work for me. Guess what? I left her ass on red. I'm not replying to that. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. If it's not going to work for you, okay, perfect. Go stay over there where you're at. I don't have time for it. So I guess she sat with that and then she came back a little bit later and she's like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Da, 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 da. I still left her on red because I, I'm not, I'm not giving that my energy. I'm not giving that my time. I'm not giving that my focus because I don't need it in my life. Like I need people around me that are going to pour into me. I need people around me that are better than me. I need to have like Lisa, who's making like the checks that I want to make. I don't need to be sitting with somebody else that's making 51 cents. Okay. That's not what I need. I'd be like, okay, what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? All right. How are you showing up? Okay. You're doing dot, 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 dot. Okay. That, that's how I need to show up. Right. So 
once you start doing all those things, when you're just like giving to yourself and giving to yourself and giving to yourself and pulling yourself out of that funk and stop waiting for somebody else to do things for you. That's when things start to change. And you can even go look back on my timeline. Like you could see that bam, just the difference, just the difference in me showing up with more confidence, me showing up, saying this is an opportunity for you because I always felt like there was a block with me bringing in promoters because I felt like I wasn't making enough. Like, why would I bring somebody into this business when you know, I, my behind the scenes, my team, it was just not good. I don't even need to go into it. And I was like, I don't want to bring somebody else into this mess. And now I'm just like, no, I'm going to create something better. You want to be a part of it. Let's go. Like you can even see that. I don't know who's messaging me. Sorry, guys. Um, you can even see that on my timeline. I'm showing up with more freaking confidence because I know that I am going to create something that people want to be a part of. Like it's no longer the old, we're in with a new, you want to be a part of this sister, let's go, let's go, let's go make some gangster money, let's do it, like El Chapo ain't got nothing on this team, let's go, so <laughs> my page just started to just look a little bit different, and I don't care, I don't care what people freaking think, like who she thinks she is, taking all these freaking selfies, Ugh. yeah, it's a filter, you don't see me right now, okay, it's fine but I don't care what you think. Like I'm going to show up how I want to show up and how I need to show up. And I'm no longer going to be that person that cares about what people think. or cares about what people are doing or not wanting to bring people in this team because I'm this, 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 no, I'm going to create it. I'm going to create what I want to see. And I'm going to show up every single day, do my manifesting, show up every single day and pour into women that need exactly what I want to um, create for myself and create for other people. There's women out there that need this. Like we have our hands on gold. Like, like Lisa said, I woke up 10 minutes before the zoom girl, same, same. And guess what? You took your capsules and now look, I'm like a freaking ball of energy. Like I can't, I can't be stopped already this morning. So <laughs> that's what we have our hands on. Like go freaking give that to other people. There's a mom that has to wake up her spawns of Satan in an hour. And she needs this. People need what we have our hands on. And you guys know my story. I would not be here. I was going to end my life. You need to understand that every single day. I was going to end my life. Okay. There is someone out there that needs this. Get your head out of your ass and go give it to them. Go give it to them. I'm done. Because I'm sweating, Lisa. You know, I'm at a pause. Because most of my good ideas um, that I completely stole this year were from you. Um, and I'm just so glad you're back so I can steal more of your ideas. And I got to tell you this, Summer Love, you are the perfect example of who you're letting in your ear can affect the five people you're surrounding yourself with. And I mean, it's no, you know, and some of you guys may have lived under a rock over the past, you know, a couple of weeks, but an upline somebody you trusted in was and somebody you were under a complete misconception about you know what I mean somebody that was claiming to be a 200k that wasn't like so many things they were in your ear planting seeds of doubt and when you have someone in your ear not feeding your business not feeding your dreams not feeding your goals but planting seeds of doubt that's super hard. And that's where you started to back away and question the business and all of the things. You guys, if you got an upline that when you get on the phone with them, they are going, yeah, it does suck. Yeah, things aren't good. Yeah, D dude, if that's who you're talking to, you're going to stay right where you are. If not resort, be resort back to even not, not even doing anything. And that's exactly what happened. And it is crazy to see the difference in you and everything else now that you have realized, you know, in your own mind, what was happening and things that happened. And look, I would love to say that this business was all sunshine and rainbows. I would love to say that all people are good people and they all have the best intentions. But at the end of the day, this is real life, guys. And there's going to be sometimes people in your own, very own business that try to sabotage you. Your very own business will try to sabotage you. It's rare, few, and far between. Most people are good people. But when you've got that gut feeling and something doesn't feel right, and you feel that someone is trying to sabotage you in some sort of way when it comes to your mindset, 
can I just tell you, follow that gut instinct and go find other uplines, go find other people. And if somebody's implanting seeds in your brain that other uplines won't understand or won't talk to you or you're not good enough, don't believe that bullshit because it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And I'm just so stinking glad you're back because everyone needs to hear your story, your fire. Um, life has been a better place since in the last couple of weeks since you've been back. That's all I know. Um, you're needed. You're loved. I love you so much. I'm so glad you're in this business with us. Um, and your business is already turning around. I mean, because your mindset shifted. Um, and speaking of that, you know, it's crazy. I think a lot of people sit around and I, I know we're going over this morning and we're almost done, but I wanted to share this with everybody because you guys, motivation is fleeting. If you are waiting to feel motivated, okay, you know, when you got into Lavelle and you were all excited and the possibilities and you heard the stories and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Like it's so good. Like you're so excited, right? And then all of a sudden, couple months goes by and that excitement's kind of wavered away. You know, you've been doing it. You got a 51%, 51 cent paycheck and you're kind of like, maybe this is never going to happen for me. Right. And all those seeds of doubt starts to come in and, you know, you forgot why you started in the first place. Suddenly what was fun now becomes work. All of the things, right. Because that's life. Motivation is fleeting. And I use that sentence a lot with people because I will get messages from people going, how do I motivate myself? How do I get motivated again? How can I feel like I did in the beginning? Um, or how do I motivate my team? I get that one all the time. How do I motivate so-and-so to work? Here's the thing, you guys. If you are laying in bed right now, listening to this Zoom, waiting to be motivated, you're going to be waiting the rest of your damn life. You might as well lay there, shut your eyes, go to sleep, and never wake up because you are literally waiting for something that's impossible to come. Motivation is something that you will self-inflict. Motivation is something that you go find and you start and you do. And a perfect example of this is the first week, first two weeks in the mornings, I was like, yeah, 5 a.m. I don't even care. Like it's up. These Zooms are fire. It's so much fun. Dude, this morning, it, the, the excitement's kind of wore off a little bit. Um, you know, I, I, now I'm in the, it, it is, I know what it is. And yes, it's an, it, it's an amazing zoom and I love getting up and motivating people, but dude, it's 5.00 AM. Okay. And that's three days a week for me. And the first two weeks, I oh, got this man, boom, nothing, no way. This morning I'm like, dude, this 5.00 AM shit's getting old. And do you want to know, I literally had to do it. I didn't want to, I wanted to lay in bed this morning, but summer love, like you said, I took my capsules. I got in front of this thing and I wasn't motivated to do it at all. I made myself do it. I found the motivation because I thought there's going to be all these people on, they're counting on me. Um, I know, I, I know I'm funny as shit. They're going to laugh this morning, like whatever, whatever I had to tell myself I'm the bomb.com. Um, and I got up and started doing it and I started doing it not motivated and I'm ending motivated. And the reason I share that with you is because each and every day, you guys, I've been doing this industry for 10 years, 10 years. Imagine me and married to somebody for 10 years and you look over at them in the, and when they're sleeping and they're snoring and you're like, if, I, if I'm gonna put his pillow over this dude's head because if he snores one more night, I'm gonna freak out. Or if he chooses food that loud again, I'm gonna stab him with a fork in the eye. Like guess what? You're not motivated in your marriage. You have to, you get irritated and then you find a new way and then you figure it out, right? Like motivated in life in general. You're not motivated to get up at 5 a.m. before you have to go to work at seven to go work out at the gym, but you do it. Why? You're not motivated, but you get there and all of a sudden you get motivated. If you are waiting to be motivated, you might as well stop now. If you're waiting to motivate someone else, you might as well stop now. Motivation is something you have to find within. It is fleeting. You are, I never go, I am never going to wake up at 4.30 in the morning going, I want to be up right now. It is never going to happen. But you know what I look forward to? The part where I just do it and then I'm so happy I did it. And now my day started. See what I'm saying? So there's a difference between the 1% and everyone else, okay? You are the, if you're on this morning Zoom, you're in the 1%. 
You, dude, you're in the 0.5%, okay? There's 4,000 people in our team page. There's 150 people again on the Zoom, and this isn't even just on my team. This is Cass and under, okay? And, and sometimes Amber and under, because I put it in her page. What I'm trying to say to you guys is that you are in that, right? You already have what a lot of other people don't. The consistency to be on here every morning. You've got to be a one percenter, somebody that does not need to have someone else motivate them or feel that motivation out of nowhere, because that's what the rest of the world does. You've got to be in that one percent that you aren't like the rest of the world. You're different. You know that you're not going to be motivated until you actually start doing it. And then you'll find the motivation. The motivation comes by the action, right? Not just laying there in bed, waiting for somebody to finally inspire you and motivate you to do it. And I hope you guys really got a lot out of today's Zoom because at the end of the day, it's getting on stuff like this, having the right people in your ear and hearing the struggle like Danny, Summer, that's real, you guys. That's what's happening in, in your business and other people's businesses and even in my own business, just because money does not buy you all happiness. I promise you that. I've been making good money now for, you know, nine years. And I can tell you that it has never bought me happiness. Has it made life easier? Sure, but it has never bought me happiness. I can tell you I what I find that happiness within is by self-development, by picking up a book, by getting out of my funk. And because we're talking about mindset today, um, my favorite book is The Secret by Rhonda Burns. And there's some people that are super um, religious. Chas is always like, I'm super religious and I love The Secret. Why don't people like that book? Um, and some people, it's not their jam because they're, they think that we're trying to say the universe is in control. Look, I totally believe in God. I totally am a Christian. I totally love the secret because I believe that you create the things that are brought to you in your life along with prayer and God and all of those things. God has it all waiting for you. If you read the Bible, he wants abundance. He wants you to have money. He wants you to have an amazing life. He wants you to, you are worthy of all those things. You just have to believe it. And the more good you put out, that is what is attracted back to you. That is proven. That I can, I am living proof of that, you guys. For 36 years of my life, I lived with a scarcity mindset, with people's favorite word being no to me, with me believing that things were not possible. I lived attracting only crap to me because I didn't truly believe. It's like the belief in God, right? Something you can't see, you, you nobody can ever explain it. They can't prove it. You just have to have that belief, right? that you have to have that belief. You have to believe it. And it is like bringing these good things to you and moving forward in this business. You've got to believe that you can be a millionaire before you get there. You have to believe that you can be 4K before you get there, before you get to 12K, 40K, 80K. I, I didn't know that I could. I just had to have that belief that I could, right? Just as I believe in God, this, this entity, this soul, this person that I've never set eyes on before, that a book is telling me is true, right? But but I believe that, right? And nothing and no one can say to me can change that conviction that I'm a Christian and I believe and I've been saved. Nobody can change that. Even though they people can come at me with questions. Well, how do you, how can you prove it, Lisa? Prove that there's a God. I can't prove it. I just know. Just as I know, everyone on here can go 4K if they don't give up, can go 12K, 40K, 80K, 200K. It, it's all about the belief. Once you have the belief, the rest will come. No one will be able to sway you. It is this, it, it's the same. And this book, The Secret, is one of the first books. It is the first book that a 65-year-old woman recommended to me. Um, she literally changed my whole business, not just by this book, but by coming into it um, and bringing me to $10,000 monthly income. And so don't discount anyone in your life because there's people out there you have not talked to yet that maybe you're thinking, oh, they're too old. They wouldn't be interested. They're too young. They don't know enough. They're, we're always putting labels on people. And a 65-year-old woman changed my life forever. I wouldn't be here today if she wouldn't have joined my team um, in my last business, period, point blank. I don't think I'd be here. And this book she handed me and said, you must read it. And 
it was five months into network marketing and it changed my life forever because it opened up my mind up to doors that I didn't even realize were possible. The secret by Rhonda Burns, I wanted to share that. I know we just went over this morning, but summer love got on a rant and then that got me fired up and Danny Sharon and then of course, um, um, Rebecca's tips, so good. Like it was so good this morning. Um, Star or um, Tiffany, do one of you guys want to end us out with the brave with uh, our, I think we're on day number seven or eight, seven or eight. Is Star or Tiffany on still? They might've had to get off. I don't know. Yeah, Star was gonna go, but I can I can do it. Okay, cool. You're the best. Right. My, we kids have, my kids have been crazy all morning, but okay, day seven. Um, let's see. Turn a light on here. All right, the truth that sets you free. Jesus answered, It is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4 4. There's um, so much to the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. So many topics we could talk about God, God's provision, the power of scripture, temptation, but we are thinking about being brave. This story is another example of truth versus lies and how believing the truth produces courage. Jesus was faced like face to face with temptation from Satan, the enemy, but Jesus stood up against the lies and spoke truth into the situation. Jesus knew the truth and he believed it. Every time Satan offered something to Jesus, he responded with a scripture. Jesus repeatedly reminded Satan how the story really goes. The truth that sets you free is God's word. If you fill your mind with his words, that truth will make you brave. Page after page, verse after verse, God has already said who you are. You are released to believe that you are who he says you are that bible is true that you are deeply loved no matter what will you be brave enough to believe him believing truth is always a choice in every situation in every conversation and in every moment that you begin to criticize yourself you have the choice to fight for truth or give in to the lies there is so much power when you begin to understand that you are who god says you are not only other people say who you are or who you believe you are. Let me tell you about believing in truth and how it changed my life. I'm free. I can live and speak and love openly because I believe I am who God says I am. My insecurities are quieter, not gone, but quieter. My worries are lighter, not weightless, but lighter. And my heart is fuller because I know how God feels about me. Today's task is be brave. Copy this prayer into your journal or write one of your own. God, tell me the truth of who I am. I'm listening. I want to be free from the lies. Do that for me. Rescue me. Bring truth like a waterfall. Oh my gosh. You know what's so crazy is Chess and I were saying every day so far, that whatever you read from the 100 Days of Brave has fit kind of what we talked about on the Zoom. And Chess is like, oh my God, God you know, God's favor is over the Zoom. Um, like we've got to keep doing these mornings and not only just you guys showing up, but that's just more confirmation. Like for me personally, that every morning when we read it, it just goes with what we talked about. It's pretty cool. So you guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us this morning. And I want to thank my co-host today, um, Rebecca. She, her Facebook posts are so good. And she's such so sweet, like one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And to watch you grow, Rebecca, from the first time that I literally met you to now, I mean, it's just crazy. I can tell how much self-development you've been doing. And you show up. You're uh, like, this is why you are where you're headed. And it's a pretty cool thing. And um, Danny, man, you know, I love you, girl. Um, I appreciate you so much. I don't think you've ever said no to me. Like, I literally pretty sure you've never said the word no um, when it comes to that stuff. And then Summer Love, man, I'm so glad you're back. You have, I love you. 
I'm so glad you are back full force. People need to hear your goodness. Like I, dude, I think you should just start some kind of podcast. Like I, we call it something like some of love, some of something, something. We could come up with something, something. <laughs> I can't think anymore in summer love, but I'll think of something good. I will so be a guest on your podcast. You know how many people I know would listen to that? Like you are so good. You are just meant to be on a stage, girl. You are meant to have your words heard, your story heard, and not just for Lavelle people. Like I truly believe that you are such an inspiration. Um, I love you guys. You're amazing. And thank you all for showing up once again on another morning and a hundred of you sticking around for an hour and 20 minute Zoom. We like to stick to an hour, but today's was just too good. We had to like, we had to hear all the goodness. I love you guys. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Wednesday. Who thinks we should do these every morning besides me? <laughs> wait I'm not gonna be on these forever y'all so enjoy now because I'm only gonna be like once a week I think um because too many good people have been on they could run these by now summer love could run a whole one of these Danny any Rebecca any y'all could do it so um enjoy me while you have me because pretty soon I'll be snoozing <laughs> I'll wake up and have it in my ear I will get up but the fact that I don't have to speak on it would be nice because now I've taken my capsules and I'm up dude like, at least if I don't have to be on one, I can just have it by my ear and then go back to sleep. But now I'm freaking up and it's still dark here. God, I hate my life. I love you guys. Have a good one. Happy Monday. Love you guys. <laughs>